What's up dental friends? In today's video, we're going to talk about where we think the dental profession is headed and what are the the metrics or factors that are driving that are dri driving this this professional iteration. So as as we record this video, it is July 25th, 2022. As of right now, 11 to 12% of all dental offices in the US are DSOs or what are called dental support organizations. By 2025, the ADA is guessing that 20% of all dental offices here in the US will be DSOs. So for you guys at home that are curious what's driving this mass acceleration and adoption of DSOs and why it's the fastest growing segment in the dental profession, I think it's a couple things. I think I think that the labor market that has been very hard since 2020 um, has been has been very hard to manage for the owner dentists. I think the supply chain that has been very, very hard to manage since 2020 is also is at adding fuel to that fire. And then you take in now the inflationary pressures that we're all feeling uh, in it, and it's putting a trifecta on an already very hard last couple years. So I, I think the dentist that again is seeing patients four to five days a month and, and, and has to have their, their top priority and focus being on patient care, the other stuff gets very, very overwhelming. It's hard to work seven days a week and when you have roof issues or, or plumbing issues or HVAC issues or handpiece issues or chair issues or any of those extra things that just happen on a day to day. I mean, when you use stuff, stuff breaks. That's just how it goes. And I just think the owner dentist now has less bandwidth than they've ever had before because everything is so complex and everything is so loud and noisy. I think it's causing a mass adoption to the DSO space so people can get helped with the management aspect. The one other thing that I think is going to really cause the second leg of this mass adoption is going to be when DSOs have significantly better margins than, than your solo practitioner. So I'm going to have some more content to come on that and as well as what Lat Dental Group, what our DSO is looking for in terms of affiliates and partners. We'll have a lot more content on as well, but I wanted to hop in on this first video and just talk about where we think the dental profession is headed and why we think the adoption of DSOs are just going to continue to accelerate for at least the next five to 10 years. Stay tuned for more. Please comment down below with what you guys want to learn more about.